How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the company out of California, pretty new company I think as of this year, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, Kindred Motorworks. Now I'm sorry if I mispronounced that but I literally just found out about them today so I had to make a video uh, for you guys because I saw some of their uh, inventory. Right now they're only offering three models but we're gonna be talking about their models in a second. And definitely be sure you stick till the very end of the video because we're gonna be talking about the different powertrains that they actually put in these older uh, vehicles or these classic vehicles, I should say. But as some of you may know, I am, you know, subscribed to Car and Driver and I, uh, you know, obviously do a lot of videos on like their different um, articles that they put out. But I literally just saw this article. I'll leave it linked down in the description below. This really just caught my eyes and kind of caught my attention. And it basically just the title states that they make electric old Volkswagen buses, Broncos, and Camaros. Now that's kind of clickbaity because it's not entirely true. Again, I'll leave the uh, link to this article down in the description below. Uh, but actually going on to their website, here is their About Us page. And just scrolling up, you can see old Beamer, uh, what looks like, I guess, a Camaro body, and then a Volkswagen bus. And it basically just states that they are vintage car lovers, but they, you know, they have experience in resto mod. All their employees have done resto mods in the past, whether it's on the production side of things or the design side of things. And they're just kind of talking about their inspiration and uh, just a brief summary of the company. Now, again, on the uh, website, like if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, it does say like 2022. Uh, it, I don't see any dates of like when they were actually founded and this is the first time that I'm hearing about them and I wasn't able to find any other real inf information about them. So if they are uh, older, definitely again, let me know and correct me down in the comments below. And also while you are down there, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, click that bell icon too, all that stuff. I know it's annoying, but as a smaller YouTuber, it really does help me out in the algorithm. Now we are going to go through every single one of their models. Again, there's only three of them, which you can see right here, the Bronco, the Volkswagen bus, and the Camaro. Now, as of right now, uh, this is kind of why I said Car and Driver's article title is a little bit clickbaity because I think the only one that you can get with an electric powertrain is the Volkswagen bus, which honestly I like because looking at this Bronco, uh, if we look under the hood of what's actually powering this beast, we have a third gen Coyote engine, which obviously is the highest uh, power output uh, Coyote engine to date. Who knows what's gonna happen in September with the uh, new release of the S650 uh, next-gen Mustang. Uh, but as of right now, it's the highest power output uh, you know, Mustang engine. It comes in the 2018 to now, I guess 2022 or even 2023 now Mustangs. And actually moving down to the specs, you can see that it does produce uh, 460 horsepower, which is really awesome. And then you also have 17 inch forged aluminum wheels with six piston calibers in the front and four piston calibers in the rear. So obviously uh, disc brakes is something that is like essential when you're putting this much power into an older body, uh, but the entire drivetrain is just completely re redone. And uh, it is offered in a bunch of different colors. We can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different uh, options. I honestly really like this kind of like teal slash white uh, color or the teal with the white accents. And then the blue also looks pretty nice. I like the yellow because it kind of reminds me of the new yellowy orange-ish color on the new generation of the Broncos. Uh, the red is cool too. Uh, I like the black top as well that comes with this like kind of baby blue or sky blue uh, color. Uh, the gray is nice and then actually all of these so yeah all the like last five ones have the black top and then all of like the first five ones have the white top with the white uh, fenders now moving on to the interior you still have uh, leather seats and everything so it still feels old with that old steering wheel too uh, but you have like this kind of touchscreen. I'm assuming it's a touchscreen uh, display right here in the uh, dash 
and uh, yeah these these have to be absolutely awesome to own uh, but however they do come with a, a very uh, very steep price tag as you can see right here with this Bronco starting at 170 grand, which is pretty ridiculous. Now, moving on to the bus, I believe this one is actually, yeah, this one is the most expensive, starting at uh, basically 200,000 US dollars, which is definitely pretty nuts, especially when considering that for 200 grand, you can get a lot of your like uh, I used starter supercars, like you get, you could get Gallardos, uh, Murcielagos. Uh, a few different model McLarens for that price. Uh, so yeah, there, there's a lot of other options out there for 200 grand. Uh, but looking at the inside of this bus, I'm not gonna play this video or anything. I will leave, leave uh, Kindred's website down, linked in the description below if you wanna check out some of their videos. Uh, but I love the design, it's very old school. They didn't change, uh, I wanna say they didn't change much because obviously every single inch of this bus it has been changed in one way or another uh, but the the like classic design they still kept like the steering wheel being kind of flat uh they still kept i love what they did here on the top making like the center display uh kind of up here instead of on the dash i love the fact that this passenger seat can like flip around i love the whole like bench seat in the back as well and this is like the ultimate there's even like a table in the middle like this is like the ultimate uh travel van like <laughs> i mean the only thing that i guess would be a, an issue is with the electric powertrain you're getting around 200 i think they guarantee 200 miles of range but if you're taking it on a super long road trip obviously that might be a problem trying to find uh power stations but this is like the ultimate a Volkswagen bus. I, I feel like this is so awesome and I know that I did a video kind of walking around the new ID Buzz concept that uh, Volkswagen debuted at the 2022 New York Auto Show. I'll leave the link to that video up on top of this video right now and I love the idea of electric swapping a Volkswagen bus because I just feel like it fits the personality of that vehicle. Now, when it comes to an old Bronco, or like we're gonna see in a bit, a first generation Camaro, I don't like the idea of electric swapping something like that. Uh, just because, again, it's, you know, they're like classic, uh, the, obviously the Camaro is a classic muscle car, and then the Bronco is just classic off-road. I think that's a little bit silly, but moving on to the Camaro now, uh, this is probably my favorite out of all their models. Uh, it just looks so amazing. A lot of these first gen resto modded Camaros look absolutely beautiful and you can see that little lt badge which is kind of teasing one of the uh, powertrain options but this guy is starting at 150 a thousand us dollars so this is actually the cheapest one and probably my uh, favorite one i love the old school door, door cards and honestly if i were to ever get lucky enough to build or buy a retro uh, resto mod in my future in my lifetime this is probably exactly how the interior would look. The overall interior uh, would be exactly the same, except I would probably have some sort of modern uh, center display. I love the modern uh, racing steering wheel and the modern kind of Hurst shifter that still does kind of have that old school design. And of course it does have that third pedal there, which is it's just so much better than driving an automatic. So now just moving literally from this picture right down here, uh, you can see just by the steering wheel and that automatic, uh, I guess, gear selector that there's going to be many different options. And this first one is a 490 horsepower GM LS 376 480. So actually that's that should say 480 horsepower. I don't, I don't know why they're advertising it as 495 horsepower. Maybe they tweaked one little thing or tuned it a little bit more aggressive uh, but the ls376 480 is basically a 6.2 liter ls3 and it's 376 cubic inches and it makes 480 horsepower from gm it's a classic crate engine if you haven't i definitely highly suggest going on chevy performance's website and looking at all their different uh, crate engines that they have available for your project cars because i think that uh, GM with their performance site and their different crate engine offerings and the fact that all of them come with warranties I think that's a great uh, thing that Chevy does to kind of keep the muscle car and resto mod culture alive 
Now here is the big boy. You have a 700 horsepower supercharged LT engine. I believe this is the same uh, LT engine actually found in the C7 Z06s. Uh, if I'm wrong, correct me down in the uh, comments. Uh, but considering that it's pushing out 700 horsepower, uh, there's definitely going to be some uh, tweaks to the performance. I'm not entirely sure if this LT engine is, uh, again, another crate engine that's rated at 700 horsepower from Chevy or something rated that's like the rating is just like a little bit lower and they're adding a couple mods here and there uh, to get get it to that 700 mark but I really love this blue color as well as this dark violet uh, I feel like the dark violet uh, kind of makes me feel like a little bit like the old Hemi Kudas again I know it's, I know it's a Camaro but uh, just that color kind of reminds me of the old like plum crazy purple from Mopar and then the, the gray also looks fantastic black it just it looks straight up evil and then the rosewood red uh, also looks pretty uh, evil and badass as well but probably my favorite is that electric blue I just think that looks so damn clean and another thing too uh, each one of these models if you are like custom ordering one of them uh, they actually offer the option to have a custom color as well so that is pretty neat and there's a bunch of different customizable options by the way also this is not like a paid video or anything it's not like Kindred is reaching out to me to like advertise the, their uh, brand or anything. Obviously, I'm a smaller YouTuber, but I literally just stumbled across again that car and driver article earlier today, and I figured I just had to make a video breaking down this new company. Also, again, these are the three models that I guess are offered right now, and they start production in 2024. And then there's also the Kindred 3100, which as most of you may know, is you know an old Chevy pickup from back in like the 40s and the 50s, I believe. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that it is great that there's another resto mod company out there to just uh, further offer more competition to that marketplace. I love the idea of more resto mods being on the street, whether people are you know building their own or buying them from like a company like this. And also let me know what you guys think down in the comments below what your favorite model was that we went through the Bronco with the Gen 3 Coyote in it, the EV Volkswagen bus, or the LS or LT powered first generation Camaro. But that is pretty much just going to be it for me today. Uh, like always, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for the continued support and I will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. I do appreciate all the support, but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and I hope you have a fantastic day.